So next skill that John and I are gonna be talking about is blocking. Um, this may be the skill that doesn't apply the most to you. I think at some of the younger levels when size isn't a big factor, I think blocking isn't as important. There was one year when Oregon lost to Penn State in the finals, it was, or they lost to Texas. Oregon lost to Texas in 2012. Of the 12 teams in the Pac-12, Oregon was dead last in blocking. So it's not one of those skills like, hey, if you were dead last in hitting, there's no chance you're gonna have any success. So blocking was one of those things that they took some area away, played defense around it. Even at UCLA, we're pretty good about keeping our opponents to a lower hitting percentage, but it's because of the block and defense together. So it's more area blocking kind of stuff. We'll definitely hit some blocking fundamentals here for you. So first little demo, you don't have to get up at all. You're all involved in here. Let's so get your hands up like you're blocking. I want you to put your hands a little bit in front of your ears, like right here, and just make the move like you're gonna penetrate. Everybody got that? Now I want you to put your elbows right in front of you. Now make the move like you're blocking. What do you feel? Which one feels more efficient? First or second? I got some first, I got some second. It tends for us, tends to be that second. The hardest thing to teach is when people start going up and then over. How many balls get hit in that low seam and trickle through? It's usually because you're catching the blockers here before they penetrate. And if your elbows are in front, as soon as I extend, I'm naturally shooting over the net. Even if I bring it back just to here and I go to extend, it tends to be up and then a forward move. So for all our kids, we'll talk about elbows in front. Even if we're swing blocking, we'll get their drive. As soon as I come up the front, I can penetrate directly. So up the front mechanics is something we do, um, whether we're static blocking, parallel, or swing, just making sure that if we're in front, we'll have uh, more opportunity to penetrate the net. Um, and I think you gotta be relaxed. I think a lot of times people get rigid blocking and as soon as you try to jump and your arms and upper body get super tight, like Jim was talking about with the approach, you tend to not be able to shoot over. So give me a couple blockers here and John, I'll take some of those balls or you just walk away and I'll go grab them. <laughs> so all we're gonna do on that first thing is elbows in front, you don't have to move at all, just straight here and then straight over. We'll go middle of the court. Yeah, right there, ready? Ready? Good. Good. Ooh. Good. Who is one of the smaller blockers? Let me see your block move. Let me see your block move, go ahead. Perfect, ready? Good. Good. So even if you're only here, as long as you can get over the net, you're gonna have a ton of success blocking balls straight down. If you go up and over, if I catch you at different times, that ball's coming flat. Um, probably gonna defend that thing and come back at you. So upper body wise, no matter what we teach, elbows in front. So key to blocking, you gotta be in front of the hitter. So static blocking, great, I don't have to move, straight up and over. Um, first easy move is parallel. One step and go. All of a sudden you're a middle blocker, middle shifts to a three, one step in the right zone. This is really easy, so same blockers. As soon as I take a step, you step with me and go straight over. Ready? Good. I guess I gotta start on you, ready? Good. Perfect. That simple. One easy step. What they did really well is posture. Drives me nuts in my gym when people are here and they gotta take a step and they go. And then back down, just be athletic. One step, quick move, shoot them over. Next move we'll talk about is two step parallel. So let's say you're end blocker, kind of helping on the three. Ball gets set to the outside. Just gonna go two steps and stay parallel. We're not gonna swing yet. Biggest thing is my chest stays on the net. So if I'm here, I don't wanna cross over and come back, why? Why do you not like that move? What's up? She'd probably trip, she says, that's not the case. Um, anyone else has an answer? What don't you like about that move? Anyone? Takes longer. Nobody, nobody. The, the concept is when the hitter's hitting, I need to be here. I need to be over the net. 
And as soon as I turn off of it, I gotta get this thing coming all the way back and it's just too simple of a move to deal with. One, two, straight over. So blockers here. Ready? That wasn't the move. Show me. Yeah, that's too far. You guys gotta be like right here. Show me. Keep your chest facing me the whole time. Go ahead. Yep. Perfect. Exactly that, but completely opposite. <laughs> Just one, two. One, two, good. Perfect, let's block a couple of these. Ready? Woo! Perfect, okay, that's great. So, quick and easy, let's go three-step now. Same concept, we're gonna stay parallel for now, because I don't know what age group you guys are dealing with or what level. I'm here, I'm parallel to the net. One, two, three, and I'm straight over. It's just a bigger distance to cover. So as if you guys were middles or you're helping out, and you're here. One, two, three. Tell me something about my shoulder height. I'm gonna ask you about my shoulder height. What was so amazing about that? Steady. We're not here coming up and down or reloading. I'm loaded the whole time. I gotta be ready to jump from this position. I gotta be ready to get there and jump from that position. So you're staying loaded, you're staying parallel. Go. Go. Good, perfect. 